We're here today at this three-day conference called Making Connections, which is a collaboration between the Child and City Foundation, Dublin City Council and the Department of Children and Youth Affairs here in Ireland. This is the 10th year of the conference. We have keynote sessions, we have parallel sessions, we have some workshops and we also have some field trips out to places that are child friendly. There are 27 different countries represented here today and it shows the importance of an event like this and it shows that, like Dublin, many other cities and countries are recognising the really important need to get children more involved in decision making, particularly in decisions that affect their own life. The Child in the City Conference, it's all about making our cities more child friendly and child accessible. In the Department of Children, we're working towards equality of play and just for more opportunities for play across the state. We all need to play. Having adults talk about it is great, but we need the input of young people so that we can get the closest thing to what we need. From my point of view, it sort of it highlighted the, the work that has been done, but it also highlighted the, the possibilities that are out there. There's so many other countries around the world that are doing a fantastic job in relation to play and, and recreation and leisure for children, and including children in all of the aspects of the city development. Because if you can make a city that's child friendly, it will be fabulous for everybody. It's really important that we have face-to-face -face contact because that's where information is passed really. When it's on Zoom, it's very staggered. Um, you don't get those sideline conversations, which are really important, and it's where connections are made so that future information can be gathered and shared. Uh, always limited options to talk about our field with so many enthusiastic and passionate people that really work with child friendliness and do research and also lovely projects with children to give them a voice and make sure that they are being heard when it comes to city development and this is really the perfect place to do that. The conference is so good so focusing on the child and specifically how the children see the world and also try to plan and adjust uh, the cities for the children. Everyone I've spoken to has been been really positive about it and of course it's partly just nice to meet your tribe and get together and and you know re-establish connections and make new ones but I think uh, you know I think the city's clearly got some ambitions and just put a lot of effort into the into making the conference work which is great. Bringing people from different disciplines together gives us an opportunity to hear how different people are looking at the world and thinking about children in that world. That's been very helpful for me because it's, it's opened my eyes to the challenges facing planners and, and designers when they are constrained by issues that I hadn't thought about at all. Uh, and so I think I've learned a great deal and hope that they've learned something from listening to psychologists and educators talking about the capacity and capabilities of children. It's an old saying but children are our future uh, and we have to involve them more and I think that's why it's so important to hear the voices of children and young people actively participating in the conference. Thank you.